So it's another Windsor uh, driving vlog tour I'm gonna do here. This time we're gonna go through the neighborhood of Riverside, which is right here on your map. This is a pretty good area, and I chose it because um, not only is it a good area, but it's a little bit more affordable than say South Windsor, which we did last time, which is also a really good area. Uh, you're gonna find houses slightly, not drastically, but slightly cheaper than they are in South Windsor. Um, it's a quiet, safe little neighborhood. So um, let's get driving it and I'll show you all the, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the schools. Uh, we'll talk about the schools, I'll show you the school districts and where you need to live to be in those school districts. We'll talk about how much housing is at this current time and what type of housing you can get in this neighborhood. Um, there's also tons of parks, I should drive by the park down there. Um, I'll get my drone out too so you can see because some of them are like absolutely freaking massive. Um, but we're going to do all that on the way. My name is Ryan. I am a real estate appraiser and real estate agent in the Windsor region. Okay, uh, I, I serve all of Windsor and Essex and uh, I know everything there is to know about buying houses and selling houses and what houses are worth. Um, so yeah, it, it, listen, if you have any questions at all and you're gonna be moving, I'll get moving here, and you're gonna be moving to, um to the Windsor area, feel free to reach out to me. I like helping people. You can call me or text me at any time. My number is on the screen. I get people reaching out from YouTube to me literally all the time, okay? Uh, so just shoot me a text or give me a call, whatever, all right? Now let's get moving here. We are in Riverside, okay? So this street is called Isabel, and I'm gonna take my cell phone camera. I'm gonna show you a little bit better the, uh, the houses that we're driving by, just so you can see, like like right there, that's a little ranch, probably about a thousand square feet, and it has um, three bedrooms, one bathroom on the main floor, and then in the basement, if it's finished, it's probably gonna have another bedroom, family room, and bathroom down there, of course, as well as laundry and all that. Um, you, in this neighborhood, like they people take care of their houses pretty well. You know what I mean? Like, as you can see, as we drive by, most of them, the lawns are taken care of, they're manicured, that one needs a trim, but <laughs> most of them look nice. They're well taken care of in a nice neighborhood. Now, I'm gonna tell you how much they're selling for, and here's what I need from you. If you're watching this in the future, like a year from now or whatever, which you probably are, don't hold me to this, because these prices probably changed by the time you're watching it. If you need updated pricing, uh, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text and I will help you with that. Um, but as of right now, the market just dipped a bit. These houses were selling before for roughly, um, I mean, they were getting up to 600,000. Uh, 650 it's really if it's really nice right now you can get them in the fi uh, high 400s 480 490 500 maybe 550 if it's really nice so the prices did drop this is an area that when um, the prices go back up it's going to skyrocket again it, it's a nice area that holds its value really well okay now i'm driving by right now um, some new builds so all of these streets were built up in the 1960s Right, and they're all about that old. That's why they were the, those small little um, thousand square foot bungalows. However, I'm gonna turn right back around here because I just passed some. There was one section that was not complete and uh, when houses started booming, they started building again. So they built modern houses on this street. Watch, I'll turn around and I'll show you how it goes from like the houses we were just looking at to brand new ones. One sec here. get this camera back out okay so again this part of the street it's the small nice little uh, ranches by the way some of them have garages some of them don't it all just depends on the lot size and whether they built one in the back or not okay now watch in about five houses we're gonna get to the new ones all of a sudden BAM that's a new one that's a new one like these were all built, some of these really new, like this year. And they're selling closer to a million, these ones. Especially up here with the bonus room. Like this one, as you can see, right there has more space, right? That, that's over a million. 
but that's what you get for new builds anywhere in Ontario. They're gonna be expensive, okay? Um, other than that, for newer houses in Riverside, you're gonna find that over in New Riverside, which we're gonna go to next in a little bit. First though, let me finish driving around here. So right now, let's talk schools, okay? So right now we are in the school district for um, David Suzuki, David Suzuki Public School. Um, it's probably your best bet for schools in the Riverside area. Uh, actually, it is the best bet, okay? It's a newer built school. They built it in uh, 2010. And I'll find the article in the news. I can't remember, but I think it was like one of the most expensive schools ever in uh, Ontario history. Or was it Canadian history? I don't even know. Okay, so I'm on Raymond Crescent right now, or I guess it's Avenue, Raymond Avenue. And this is where David Suzuki School is. So as we get up here, you're going to see the school to my right. And this is this new school I was telling you about, okay? Let me get my phone. Let's get the camera. Oh, here, I can just pull in. So this here is this David Suzuki Public School. Again, built in 2010, I think it was, and they spent millions and millions. It's a really a state-of-the-art school. I've been in it a couple times. It's nice in there. And oh yeah, okay, so as for ratings, like they do above average. When they, when they rate, so the Fraser Institute is an institute that measures how well schools do on testing and all that stuff. Um, six is the average, six out of 10. And they rank them all on that scale out of 10. David Suzuki has always been above average. I forget what it is exactly. I'll put it on the screen, 6.9 or something like that, 6.7. But regardless, you're going to an above average school if you get your kids in the school district, okay? And the great part is it's, it's probably one of the more affordable areas of Riverside. I mean, like I said, right now for 500,000, you're getting a nice little bungalow in a nice neighborhood. Now, if you need more space and a bungalow isn't gonna cut it, um, I'm gonna show you houses in New Riverside on the way here, okay? By the way, this here, this is the school district, all right, you see on your map right now, for David Suzuki. So if you're living anywhere in this region, that's David Suzuki School District. Before we move on to New Riverside, I want to show you uh, the parks, because there's a lot of parks in, in Riverside. Um, I mean, there's one down there, there's one right here. Here, I'll pull over here so you can see this. This is small, there's the biggest one's over there. We're gonna go to it on the way. Ah, shoot, hold on. I gotta whip around because this guy jumped in front of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put drone footage over this right now so you'll be able to see that and see the nice big park right there, okay? There's a Catholic school there as well, uh, which I think does pretty well on testing. Um, but that's a great park. And now I'm gonna take you to the big one. It's called Realtor Park. Let's go. Okay, so right, oh, this moved on me. Uh, right now, we're pulling up to one of the entrances to Realtor Park, okay? So this park spans like what? How many city blocks? I don't know, five city blocks? Like, it, it's a pretty big park. It has, here, I'll get my phone out. It has, um, what, one, two, three ball diamonds? in it, it's got two soccer fields, it's got um, a, a, a paved bike path that goes all the way around, it's got, um, give you a better view there, um, what else, there's more to it, oh it's got a splash pad for the kids, they can jump around in, they got a jungle gym, they have tennis courts, like it's a big park, uh, it's massive, I don't know why it's called Realtor Park, maybe the Realtor Association gave, donated money, to make the park, I don't know, but it's massive. It's got, uh, like I said, all that, like three ball diamonds and everything. So 
that's in your back. That's that's by the way just around the corner from that other park I already showed you. And there's another park just around the corner from that. Like there's parks everywhere in Riverside. It's actually fantastic. So uh, if you live nearby, you can just go for a walk, go to the park, play some tennis, or, or do whatever. Um, it's pretty great. Okay, I think it's time to go check out New Riverside. If you need more space, if you want a nicer home, a bigger home, New Riverside is where you're, you're going to want to go. So if you see here on the map, this is where we are right now. We're in just what is known as Riverside. Okay, it extends all the way up over to here too, but you're in a different school district. We'll talk about that in, in a minute. Uh, first though, let's go to New Riverside, okay? It's over here. All of these houses were built at the oldest 20 years ago, at the newest this year, okay? Hang on one sec. Okay, so uh, we're about to pass. So we're on our way to New Windsor, or New New Windsor, uh, New Riverside. But I wanted first, because we're driving by here, thought I might as well show you. So we have two things happening here. We have these new builds, million plus dollar houses right here on our way out there. This land just used to be vacant and sometimes used as parking for what you're going to see up here in a few minutes is the WFCU Center, okay? Uh, what that is, is that's our big hockey arena where the Windsor Spitfires play hockey. Um, it, it's a big facility. They also have in there gymnasiums uh, for people to rent out for intramural sports. They have like, was it three other smaller hockey rinks besides the big one that you can rent out? And then of course they got the big one where the Spitfires play uh, that seats like six and a half thousand people. So this is like literally around the corner from New Windsor. So if you did live there and you wanted to go to a Spitfires game, you don't even have to drive down here and fight for parking. You can just walk. <laughs> All right, so this is probably a better view. Like we're passing it right there. WFCU Center. It was built, I don't know, I'll put the year on the screen. Like it's pretty new, eh? WFCU Center. And so we'll have, we had Jerry Seinfeld perform there one time. Like, it'll, it'll get some pretty big acts, especially, like, Canadian bands that are famous. And then, of course, you also have Caesars Windsor, which has a bunch of bands. And you've got, um, of course, Detroit right there. You can go see anything in Detroit. But it's just, it's just nice to know that Jerry Seinfeld came to this, this little city and performed here. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's finish going to, I keep getting distracted. Let's finish going to New Riverside. Okay, finally, we made it to uh, New Riverside, okay? So I'm gonna pull out my phone and these are what you're getting here. These are raised ranches. The ones we're looking at right now are about 20 years old, but we'll go around the corner. There's brand new ones as well. Some of these, as you can see, have a one car garage. Some of them have a two car garage. Some of them have a two car garage with the bonus room above the garage. Um, all that will affect the pricing of these. Um, the market keeps changing. So, I mean, again, like all of this is gonna be out of date by the time you're watching it, but these were going for like, I mean, you could probably get one now for a minimum 700, 750. Um, they were going like eight to nine before, but you know, the market did take a dip a bit. Um, let's go, see, these are the streets I like. Inverness, should have went there. I'll turn down here. So this is Monticello. All right, now these are a lot newer and these are going for a lot more. So now you're looking at 900,000, a million dollars. We got uh, a raised ranch with a bonus room, two car garage, like they're big houses. And they're newer built. I mean, these gotta be under five years old, these houses. They were just building them. Time moves too quickly though, you know what I mean? I was gonna say one year, but I'm like, I feel like it was longer than that probably. I always think everything was last year. Yeah. A lot of square footage in there too, eh? 
like you're probably looking at 2,000 square feet just above grade and then you, it's a raised ranch so you have that exact footprint underneath as well. Really quiet street too, eh? Like there's like no traffic. Right, let's take a right. Look at this little guy out for a walk. He's probably like, what are you filming me for? Okay, now we get to brand new, brand new, okay? This is Barkley. This guy doesn't even have freaking grass up yet, eh? Okay, you're looking at over a million here. I mean, they're brand new. Listen, people sometimes call me. Sorry. People sometimes call me and they're like, hey, I want something built the last five years and my budget's 500 grand. It's not going to work, man. Like, anything that's new is a million or more. This is Canada. They don't, they don't make cheap housing anymore. Unless you buy a condo or a townhome, then you're under a million. And actually, there's newer townhomes just down the road. I'll show you in a sec. Yeah, some of these are big, eh? They're pumping the square footage into these. All right. So those two streets I just showed you, the Monticello and then this one, and that first one we went down, shows you the range of New Riverside. You get 20 years old, uh, you can pick up for like 700K, and then you get to, you know, within the last five to 10 years, and you're, and you're closer to a million, and then the brand new ones are definitely over a million. Those are all single detached homes. All these streets I'm passing are just more of the same, except we're gonna get up here. I'm gonna go down Cyprus. I wanna go down here, and you'll see why in like two seconds. Here, I'll go this window. You see this? They're all townhomes, but they're luxury, okay? Because again, Canada doesn't build cheap stuff anymore. So all these townhomes, you're gonna go inside, it's gonna be, you know, granite countertops, beautiful brand new kitchen, large master bedroom with ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet, and then, they might come with a finished basement or they might leave it unfinished depending on what the builder decided to do but down there you can put another bedroom or two. Oh, and of course they'll have an office slash bedroom on the main floor as well okay two car garage like they're nice they're beautiful they're these were built again i'm gonna say in the last five years it's hard to keep track of everything in town but but yeah and, and these you're paying for these townhomes 750 or more you're paying as much as the single car garage raised ranch that's 20 years old and, and you're doing that because they're newer they're just more luxury than that other one okay now do you see across this little greenway here you've got uh you got more townhomes okay those are about the same as what i just said i think they're a little bit cheaper these ones um like you got Nightingale up there, stuff like that. You might be able to pick them up for $50,000 less, but they're essentially the same thing. They're townhomes that were built uh, relatively recently. Again, if anything here you have any questions about, or you just need help because you're moving to Windsor, and you need some more information on where to live, what school district to go to, or you need help looking for a house, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Ryan. I'm a real estate appraiser and real estate sales agent. I know all the things there is to know about this city and about uh, where to live and how much things are worth. So feel free to reach out to me if you need some help. My number is on the screen. I get calls from YouTube every week, okay? This is a nice area though, to be honest with you. Like these are nice little town. Some people like turn their nose up at townhomes. They like, I don't want to live in a townhome. But honestly, living in these townhomes is you're gonna feel like more luxury than living in a uh, 50 year old detached home. And it's gonna be cheaper. So um, I would recommend it, but hey, that's just me. All right, now as for parks, we just passed one. I don't know if I really want to turn around. But there's a park back there that has this hill so I can't believe that I forgot to tell you about Little River Corridor, okay? So Little River Corridor is the biggest park that we have, in, I think, in all of Windsor. It extends from up here where the beach is, and it goes all the way down to the WFCU Center, okay? Now, this is filled with... Um, 
paved biking slash running slash rollerblading paths as well as some dirt paths um it uh it's got like a little pond a little lake in there as well sometimes you'll see wildlife I mean, nothing crazy. It's Ontario, but it's got like uh, like turkeys running around, some deer, a uh, bunch of stuff like that. Um, really cool giant park. Uh, there's also this, um, um, what do you call it, where they do the tricks? It's like an empty swimming pool. One of those little little areas for, for people to do tricks on their skateboard or their BMX bike or whatever. Uh, they got a, a couple jungle gyms and stuff you can take the kids to. They have Suicide Hill, which in the winter, for that one week out of the year where it does snow enough to actually go tobogganing, uh, people will go tobogganing down there. Um, I remember during COVID when everything was locked down and no one was allowed out of their house. Everyone would just go to the park and you'd run by Suicide Hill and people would be like working out on the hill, just like sprinting up it and everything. Um, there's also a mountain biking path in there as well. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff around there. It's really neat that you can literally go from the beach at St. Clair Lake all the way down to the WFCU Center. And it's and you can avoid traffic because the path goes under under the roads and stuff too, which is really cool. So that's the Little River Corridor. One more thing. If you've made it this far, please click like on this video. It actually means a lot to me. Um, also, if you're looking to move to Windsor and you need some help or you have some questions that you need answered, feel free to reach out to me. My expertise is helping people buy a house as they're moving to this city or helping people within this city relocate. Um, but any question at all, I'm down to help you out. My phone number is on the screen. You actually have a bunch of soccer fields, which is nice. So if your kids are in soccer, like they won't have to go far to get to their games. They're right there. You know what I mean? We got washrooms here and then you got like, what? One, two, three, four soccer fields right in front of you there. Um, so if your kids are enrolled in soccer and they're going to have games to go to, this is where those games probably will be. Oh, by the way, so the school district for New Riverside, you're probably wondering if you've got kids, you're going to be going to Forest Glade Public School over in this area. Now, it doesn't have as high of a rating as... Um, uh, David Suzuki, although I will say I haven't heard any complaints from people in day-to-day -day life. Like, it's just me looking at this chart right now. Uh, you will see they have a high percentage of English as a second language as well as special needs students. So that sounds like something they specialize in. That could be the reason why, okay? The same story goes for where we're about to go to. Right now, we are headed to one last section of Riverside. Um, it's kind of just like the older Riverside as well, um, but you're in the MS Hetherington School District, and again, a large special needs population in there, something they specialize. So they do have a much lower rating from the Fraser Institute. I don't know if there's anything else going on there, if it's a bad school. I wouldn't think it would be. It's in a nice area. I just... Um, I don't know. I think it's probably the special needs student thing. But no, it doesn't have as high of a rating as David Suzuki. If I had my choice between this area here that we're going to on the map and where we first were, I'm picking where we first were. You're in David Suzuki Public School area and they're nice houses. All right, so here we are. It might be louder. I got the AC pumping. Um, but here we are in the last part of Riverside I wanted to show you it's pretty much the same as the first part that i showed you um it's just in a different school district it's over here and the school district like i just said is ms hetherington it doesn't have that great of a rating not gonna lie but i'm giving it some grace because of its large special needs population and all that but doesn't typically have um, a great rating now Here's what's funny, is these houses actually sell more than the area with the good school. I mean, you're, you're gonna pay $50,000 extra or more probably living in this region. Now, some of it is because the houses have a little bit more space to them. You're gonna find back splits and uh, side splits like this one right here. Uh, and there's just a little bit more square footage. So that, that could be the reason, but. All right, guys, I'm going to stop the video there because my GoPro just turned off on me because it got too hot sitting in the window with the, the, the sun beating down on it. 
um, I guess the AC is not getting to the uh, to the camera. So uh, I've showed you pretty much everything though. I showed you old uh, the the just what we call Riverside. I've showed you New Riverside. I've showed you some parks, and I've showed you this section of Riverside here very briefly, mind you. But I showed you this section here, which uh, still is a great section. It's just in a school district that doesn't do quite as well. Um, that's about all I got for you today. Again, if you're gonna move to Riverside or anywhere in Windsor and you need some more information about where you should be moving, uh, feel free to give me a call. My number's on the screen right here. You can shoot me a text or do whatever, whatever's comfortable for you. Um, and comment down below if there's other areas you want me to drive by and just, just show you for you out-of-towners, okay? Excuse me. Um, thanks for stopping by. Cheers.